Hi kids! How are you today? I hope you're doing great. I'm Teacher Jackie and today we're going to learn and have some fun. But before that, can you sing a song with me? That's great! Come, join me! Do you know what's this? You're right! This is a musical instrument called guitar. Are you ready to sing with me? Did you enjoy the song? What's the song all about? Very good! It's about the planets of the solar system. Have you seen a solar system model? Wow, that's nice! I'm sure you will enjoy our simple activity, the paper plate solar system. In this activity, we are going to make a simple model of solar system using mainly a paper plate. Yes! Are you excited? Splendid! Now let's start. First, let's prepare the following materials that we're going to use in making the paper plate solar system. Here are the materials. A paper plate, colored pencils, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. Now let's proceed in making the paper plate solar system. Step 1. Draw a big circle at the center of the paper plate. This will represent our sun. You can pattern it from a 5 peso coin. You may also use a yellow colored pencil for this. Step 2. Draw 8 circles starting from the nearest to the sun. In order to place the 8 circles properly, draw them in a spiral pattern. These 8 circles will represent the planets. The first 4 circles must be small. And the last four circles must be bigger compared to the first four, but smaller than our sun. Step 3. Using an ordinary pencil, draw a line in a spiral pattern starting from the sun. Make sure not to draw over a planet. Step 4. Lastly, cut the paper plate following the lines you drew. Remember, always ask help from an adult when using a pair of scissors. Great job, kids! You already have a simple model of solar system. Based on the paper plate solar system that we made, which circle is the biggest one and what does it represent? Terrific! The one at the center represents our sun. How about the sizes of these eight planets? Do they have the same size? Correct! They do not have the same size. The first four planets are small, and the last four planets are big. How about their distance? Which planet is the nearest to the sun and which one is the farthest? Excellent! You got it all right! I hope you had fun making our paper plate solar system. Kids, brace yourselves as we're going in an adventure to our solar system. Our solar system consists of eight planets which orbit around our home star, the Sun. The eight planets starting from the nearest to the Sun are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, let's know more about each of these planets. The first four planets are called the inner planets. They are near to the sun and made up of solid rock. They are also known as the terrestrial planets. The last four planets are called the outer planets. Unlike inner planets, outer planets are composed of gas and ice giants. 
They are also known as the Jovian planets. The first planet is Mercury. It is the nearest planet to the Sun and the smallest one. It is one of the four terrestrial planets with a thin atmosphere composed mostly of oxygen, sodium, hydrogen, helium, and potassium. Next is Venus. Venus is a thick atmosphere that traps heat in a runaway greenhouse effect, making it the hottest planet in our solar system. Because of its brightness, Venus can be seen in morning and evening and is also known as the morning star or evening star. Like Mercury, Venus is also a terrestrial planet without moons. The third planet is my favorite one. This is where we live. Yes, planet Earth. It is also called as the blue planet because it's covered by almost 70% water. Earth is the only planet where life is known to exist and thrive. It's a terrestrial planet with only one moon, with an atmosphere consisting of nitrogen, oxygen, and minor amounts of argon, carbon dioxide, and neon. Next to Earth is Mars. Unlike other planets, Mars is reddish in color and is sometimes called the red planet because of the large amount of iron oxide or rust in its rocks and soils. It is the last terrestrial planet with two moons and has a thin atmosphere made up mostly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon gases. Before we go to the fifth planet, we will pass through first the asteroid belt. Asteroid belt is a region of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. This belt is composed of the remains like rocks and debris known as asteroids that failed to fully form as a planet. Now we go to the outer planets. The fifth planet is Jupiter. It is the largest of all the planets in the solar system with an average diameter of 139,822 kilometers. It is a gas giant with a thick layer of atmosphere composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. Jupiter has an iconic great red spot that has raged for hundreds of years. As enormous as it is, Jupiter has the most moons among all the planets. It has 79 moons in total. Next to Jupiter is Saturn. Saturn is famous for its rings. It is the second largest planet in the solar system and is also a gas giant. Like fellow gas giant Jupiter, Saturn has numerous moons and is a massive ball made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Did you know that these beautiful rings are made up of ice and dust? Well, mostly ice. These were first observed with a telescope in 1610 by Galileo Galilei. The seventh planet is Uranus. Unlike Jupiter and Saturn, Uranus is an ice giant. It is covered with a thick layer of gas and is the coldest planet with an average temperature of negative 220 degrees Celsius. Uranus' atmosphere is mostly hydrogen, helium, and methane. Last but not the least, the eighth planet, Neptune. Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun with an average distance of 4.5 billion kilometers. Like Uranus, Neptune is also an ice giant and has a dense fluid of icy materials. There you go! Now you know the eight planets of the solar system. What did you observe about the eight planets of the solar system? Are they all the same? You're right! They are the same at some points but totally different in many aspects. What makes these eight planets unique and different from each other? Correct! They differ in size, distance from the sun, composition, gases in the atmosphere, number of moons, and movement. Although at some points, they are somewhat similar. Can you tell me which aspects are they the same? Correct! They are the same in shape. The inner planets are all made up of solid rock. The outer planets are all gas and ice giants, and they all orbit around the sun. Good job, kids! That was a great one! Now, 
Here's a question that you can ponder on. For many years now, NASA scientists and engineers continuously study a planet which may potentially support life existence similar to Earth. Which planet would be the best to study in terms of composition and why? You're right! The answer is planet Mars. Since the 1960s, humans have robotically explored Mars more than any other planet beyond Earth. After decades of studying orbiters, landers, and rovers, scientists revealed Mars as a dynamic, wind-blown landscape that could just maybe harbor microbial life beneath its rusty surface. Mars has a thinner atmosphere made up mostly of carbon dioxide and minor amounts of nitrogen, argon, and carbon monoxide. On average temperature, its surface is negative 81 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 138 degrees colder than Earth. On Mars, you would experience 62.5 less gravity than you're used to on Earth. Though water ice abounds under the Martian surface and its polar ice caps, there are no large bodies of liquid water on the surface there today. Now, more missions are on the horizon to help search Martian life. Brilliant! Now you're ready. Let's try answering this. Which of these planets is the nearest to the Sun? A. Mercury B. Venus C. Earth D. Mars Correct answer! Which planet has the biggest size in terms of actual diameter? A. Saturn B. Earth C. Jupiter D. Mercury You got it right! What makes Earth the most livable planet among the planets of the solar system? A. The presence of red soils and rocks B. It is covered with 70% water and has the presence of nitrogen, oxygen, and argon in the atmosphere C. It has rings around it D. None of the above Fantastic! What is the most common characteristic among these planets? A. They all have the same size B. They are all made up of solid rock C. They have the same distance D. They all orbit around the Sun Perfect! How are the inner planets different from the outer planets? A. Inner planets are bigger and farther compared to outer planets B. Outer planets are nearer and smaller compared to inner planets C. Inner planets are made up of solid rocks while outer planets are gaseous D. None of the above Excellent! Great job! Did you know that back then, our solar system consisted of nine planets? Yes! The ninth planet was Pluto. But Pluto was reclassified from a planet to a dwarf planet in 2006. That's why we only have eight planets in the solar system, making Neptune as the eighth and last planet. Amazing! What a great adventure! I hope you learned something new today about the planets in the solar system. Again, this is Teacher Jackie. See you in our next video. Keep safe and God bless. Seven, eight planets in the solar system.